We're gonna peel. <laughs> John, we're gonna peel the carrots before we wash them. <laughs> Let's take a bite. Whoa. Mmm. Today, we are making a beautiful and delicious and easy carrot cake from scratch. And it's something I've made many, many times. It's a family favorite. And let's get going on making this beautiful cake. We're going to peel the carrots before we grate them. We're going to start assembling our dry ingredients, which are going to be flour, cinnamon, a little bit of salt, and soda. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. This this is a half, so. Just to mix in the soda a little bit. Vanilla which is a teaspoon of vanilla. A little extra vanilla <laughs> doesn't hurt. Now we are ready to mix with the electric mixer. We're going to mix our wet ingredients, get those ready, then we'll add the dry. I'm going to mix this a little bit by hand because if I put the mixer in here, flour is going to just go everywhere. And I'd rather mix it like this by hand, then I'll get the mixer going. Three cups of freshly grated carrots. If we have more than three cups, that's okay too. It's not going to hurt anything. Sometimes I add a little bit of zucchini. We've got our tank all ready to go. We need to get the pan ready. Uh, I've got a nine by 12 with some butter softened in there. And I'm just gonna, well, I usually use my finger just to spread it around. For, you know, baking in general. So let's get that. Oh, a little bit of flour. Let's 
stick this in there because it's ready. Forty minutes in the oven. We're going to test it with our finger and a toothpick. We're going to make our frosting now, which is a stick of butter, eight ounces of cream cheese, vanilla, and powdered sugar. The butter and cream cheese need to be soft. Oh, we've been letting them sit by the oven. <clears throat> We're going to get this some uh, heat. <laughs> There's three, and then we'll switch to our Tupperware three-quarter cup. I'm not going to turn the mixer on yet because <clears throat> it, all this powder is just going to be flying all over your whoops, all over your stove, just like that. <laughs> Mix it by hand a little bit, then we'll get the mixer out. According to some of my family, they think my frosting is awesome because I beat it a little bit longer. That's pretty good. We are ready to frost our cake now. Check the cake with my finger first. It's, it feels like it's getting there. So let me grab a toothpick, do it that way. It's done. Getting our frosting on our cake. Our cake is cool. We got our frosting done. But basically, I've kind of scraped it to the side here. I'm going to just kind of go down. So I'm going to put half of this frosting on this side over here. It's, you know, it's just want, want it to be equal across, across the cake so everybody gets their share of frosting. It's the best part. I'd love to. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. Mission accomplished and the only thing that we could add to this is some nuts on top, walnuts preferably, because walnuts add a lot of texture. And here we have the carrot cake and let's take a bite. Whoa. Mmm. Carrot cake pairs well with cream cheese frosting because the frosting is sweet, creamy, a little tangy, and pairs well with carrot cake, which carrots are very sweet, plus all the sugar we've got. So, I highly suggest you try this recipe. It's going to be a family favorite, and it's easy to make and cheap to make. Thank you for watching.
and we'll see you next time.